You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Well, welcome to All Saints here in Rosebud for our worship on this 21st Sunday after Pentecost. Today we celebrate with joy that great commandment to love, which once had to be imposed on people under, th under the threat of God's avenging anger. But now it's revealed to us through God's unconditional gift of love through Jesus. So let's begin our service with our first hymn, Come Down, O Love Divine. Thank you. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, 
We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's now sing together the Gloria. so that we may love you with our whole being and our neighbours as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now our scripture readings. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho, and the Lord showed him the whole land. Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Euphraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, the Negev and the plain. That is the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zoar. The Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. Then Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, at the Lord's command. He was buried in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor, but no one knows his burial place to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His sight was unimpaired and his figure had not abated. The Israelites wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days. Then the period of mourning for Moses was ended. Joshua, son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hand on him and the Israelites obeyed him, doing as the Lord had commanded Moses. 
Never since has there arisen a prophet in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He was unequal to all the signs and wonders that the Lord sent to him to perform in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and his entire land, and for all the mighty deeds and all the terrifying displays of the power that Moses performed in the sight of all Israel. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Satisfy us by your loving kindness, so shall we rejoice and be glad. Satisfy us by your loving kindness, so shall we rejoice and be glad. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another, before the mountains were brought forth, or the land and the earth were born, from age to age you are God. You turn us back to the dust and say, Go back, O child of earth. Satisfy us by your loving kindness, so shall we rejoice and be glad. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday, when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You sweep us away like a dream, we fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes, in the evening it is dried up and withered. Satisfy us by your loving kindness, so shall we rejoice and be glad. Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servants. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Make us glad by the measure of the days that you afflicted us and the years in which we suffered adversity. Satisfy us by your loving kindness. So shall we rejoice and be glad. Show your servants your works and your splendor to their children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands. Prosper our handiwork. Satisfy us by your loving kindness. So shall we rejoice and be glad. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully mistreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God, in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery. But just as we have been approved by God, to be entrusted with the message of the gospel. Even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have come very dear to us. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. One of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. 
On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They said to him, the son of David. He said to them, how is it then that David by the Spirit calls him Lord, saying, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to give him an answer, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's now pray. And so we pray that the gospel principles of love and compassion for all people may truly be at the heart of our life together as a church and as a parish community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that God's word of compassion and reconciliation may echo forth resoundingly in the teaching and ministry of our bishops Philip and Paul, from all our priests and deacons, and from all who minister and teach within our churches. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That nations and governments may find ways to break down the barriers and tear down the walls that divide families and communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer that families experiencing hardship, turmoil or loss may be strengthened by the loving support of one another and of friends and neighbours. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. That our compassion and kindness to the sick, the poor and those in need may make us worthy to be remembered in their prayers to God. And amongst those who are sick at this time, we've been asked to offer prayers for Chris McGregor, Tony Stevens, Diane Ward, Rachel Hopkins, Andrea Wales, Frida Downs, Gordon Dawson, Kay Calroy, Nikki Ashton, Cody Steele, Edie Morris, Vera Healy, Taylor Miranda Reese, Isaac, Judy, Kelly, Brendan, Marissa, Keith, Craig, John O, Diane, Carolyn, John. Alice. We also pray for Dennis and Gwenda Bignall. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that the risen Christ may bring into the presence of his Father the souls of our deceased relatives and friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the moment of quiet, let's now offer up to Almighty God our own private thoughts and prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, author of all love, may your rule of compassion and commandment of love govern every moment of life you give us until the coming of your reign, where Jesus is Lord forever and ever. Amen. So we come now to the peace. Christ has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever living God. We give you thanks and praise for our Saviour Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. Therefore, with angels and they, archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine, and we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink of them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, given for you, do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup, and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Renew us by your Holy Spirit, unite us in the body of your Son, and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours forever. Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of you. Now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in one bread. So come, let us take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us. Feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace, and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We who the Spirit lights give light to the world. Father, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you. Amen. Let's sing our final hymn now, For the Beauty of the Earth. Thank you.